But if there is, it's the time of year because we're heading, heading towards summer. I think, and I'm not a doctor or medical professional, but I think if this were to hit in October instead of right now, we'd be in for a lot worse than what we're looking at. As, as bad as it is, uh, you know, as, as bad as it seems right now. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it could be a whole lot worse. But, I, I, yeah, you're, you're right. That's very sobering. That's, uh, Difficult. So, anyway, I'll, I'll let you pick up where you. Uh, I don't know where I was, but um, <laughs> we're closed. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so teachers have been working, um, preparing, and, and getting things as best they can um, in, in a means that's accessible to to uh, kids and families. Um, we, we've we've placed a, a specific place on our web page. Um, where students have, can access through Google. You know, Google is, is, is basically how we're operating through this. At least that's our that's our path into to resources. Um, so we, we've set up a, a Google a Google Drive account that has every grade level, every content area um, across the board, and, and teachers have been loading loading information out of that. The key is is that the, the, the Google accounts are kids accounts, so um, kids are, are, are being well, we didn't send it, we're, people are being able to pick up uh, Chromebooks. We have enough devices for everybody in the district, and, and so those are those are accessible to anybody that wants them um, or needs them. But if you don't need a Chromebook to, to access the stuff. You can access it through any computer, any iPad, anything that has internet connectivity. Um, so that's really the, the means that we're getting you know, the, 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 uh, things out for kids. I know that the, the lower grades, we've, we've, we've sent different paper and uh, various activities and things of that nature. Um, books, 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 all sorts of literature, and, um, access to ebooks, access to all sorts of open source documents that, that, that kids can have, have access to. Um, there's all sorts of different activities that are being planned from, from read alouds and, and various things to try to get kids engaged, try to get kids at, uh, engaged with, with some uh, sort of activities that are going on. That's the, at the elementary levels. Google Classroom, which is another, if you have kids or are familiar with it, is another avenue that mainly um, inter upper intermediate through high school are using as a, as a way to um, keep dialogue, keep lessons, uh, assign work, and that sort of thing to kids. The, the key balance, though, is that we, we can't mimic instruction, we can't mimic anything that we would do in the, in the, in the, in the classroom, but really trying to prevent as much possible regression keep kids engaged in some way in some sort of learning um, and really try to keep things moving. Um, we're, we're, the other piece is we're, we're not grading things. This is not something because there is, there's no way uh, from an equity standpoint to ensure that everybody has access to what we're trying to do. So it's really, really more about opportunities and, and seeing what we can do to, to just provide resources that are out there. I had a really horrible video that I put out uh, about an hour ago that I kind of walked through our web page. It's a little voiceover video of you know, where to go, where to click, and that sort of thing. And we'll, we'll, the, the district will continue to kind of pump information out and, and, and things out as best as we can to, um, to help kids uh, stay engaged. There's more and more resources that are coming out from different um, curricular companies that you know free this, free that, and we're trying to vet them and, and, and put them out in a way that's helpful to, to families. It's tough. I mean, it's, it's we we totally get it. Um, and, and the other thing is, is you know, I, I know teachers are, are, you know, while they won't be in, in school doing this work, though, I, I know our teachers, and I know teachers that, that live in the community that might not even work here, will will do what they can to, to help out in, in, in this time. Um, so there's that uh, feeding. Um, we have we have feeding that's scheduled and, and ready to go. It'll start on Wednesday. Um, we're using all of our, we're using our, our school buildings that we have, Columbia, North Cornell, Bryant, High School, Intermediate School. Um, and <clears throat> those are pickup locations. There the, the, the are flags that are already, already out of each one of those locations. We're using kind of a, a drive-through model, a kind of grab-and-go type of thing. This is, this is not a place where um, kids can come and come and eat. It's a place where they can grab food um, for, for the day. Breakfast and lunch will be served in one uh, between in one in one bag um, between 10:30 and 11:30. Um, it's open for anybody under 18 or 18 and under. So it doesn't if you're 18 and under, you, you can you can take advantage of it even if you're not school age. Um, they can go to any location. It doesn't have to be the location where they go to school. That was the question. Kind of going through all the questions that we saw. 
um, with some of our feedback that we have out there. So it can go, go to any location that we have. We put that out. I've I, I, I tried to put that out a couple different, couple different ways. We'll continue to pump that out. For folks that are outside of the, the city limits and outside of North Thornell, um, we, will we will deliver. And we have, a, we have a number, and we're keeping track of, of who that is and how and where, where people are. That will be a more likely a once a week type of delivery where we'll be able to like bring a box or, or bring multiple meals all at once um, to, to individuals. It's a program that, that we've run in the summer in the past, and so um, the, the, the state and federal government have allowed us to operate during, uh, during this, this time. Um, I'm missing cleaning. We, are, we, we have uh, not around the clock, but we, we have two shifts of cleaning that are that's going through all of our schools at this point. Um, they, they started this afternoon and will continue following with the process and outlines from, from the CDC um, as, to, as to kind of how we're, how we're approaching this. Um, at school, it'll be very skeleton crew, probably looking at it. Um, <laughs> but business office, I, I, I just, but business office will, uh, we won't have technical um, hours that will be open, but um, all business functions will continue. Um, that's another important thing, you know, people are getting paid. You know, uh, Insurance is, is being paid, bills are being paid, you know, we're, 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 we're doing right by, by everyone. So, um, you know, and we're just kind of like everyone else, just trying to get through this and figure out what that next move is. We're, we're, ten, we're you know, we're, we're close through the 13th but of, of, of April, but I think you're hearing this as well. It's like, we have no illusion that, that to believe that that really will happen. You know, this is. You know, and the governor, it's, a, it's, it's a total moving target. And, and the, you know, the governor put out today that you know he, he directed the closing of, of, of schools for a two-week period, and then they'll reevaluate it on a two-week period. And, and that's the thing, you know, we're we're we all know that we're on the front end of this right now. And we, we hope we, we hope that in you know six weeks, four weeks, whatever, that we're at the same point where we are now. That means that that's good. Kind of, you know, like to Dr. Mayor's point, but it doesn't mean that we can, can we can return to. Where, where we were before, and so you know that the school's tactic is for for you know these three weeks plus what would be predicted so a four week period. Um, we, we feel pretty good about the plan that we have that we're we're, we're doing the best that we can to provide supports and um, resources. We have counselors that will check in with families, you know, when they, when they can. Um, but we know that if if, if 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 we're not returning at that time, we, we, we've got to reboot a little bit. And so, you know, my work between now and then is, is thinking about what is what what does the next phase look like? Um, and don't know right now. That's something that uh, we, we will see as it as, as it evolves. But you know we'll, we're we're committed to our kids and we'll we'll do the best we can to do this from afar. 